Hi guys, I'm here today with a makeup look that would be great to wear for Valentine's Day. It has a lot of blush tones, a little touch of purple, it's very feminine and pretty. So here we are with my not so bare face. I already have my foundation done and my brows done. So we're just going to prime our eyelids first. I'm using um, Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just using a little concealer brush. So I'm applying it to my lids and then without lifting more product, I'm just um, wiping off whatever's left over like on my crease and my lower lash line. And first we're going to start with our crease. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm going to take Buzz and just work that right into my crease. It's a very pretty like medium um, rose gold. After that, we're going to take dust and pat that onto our lid. And um, as you can see, it's not really that different from my um, natural skin color or my primer color, I guess. It's just a little pink. It's a very soft rose gold. Then I'm going to take this purple shadow. This shadow is a steal. It's a dollar, and it was such a great discovery. I don't like traveling with um, too many eyeshadow palettes, um, or any eyeshadow palettes, really, because my biggest fear is that I'm going to break it or break my shadows, you know? So um, I, I went on... A trip for like a wedding and I only packed my Naked Basics palette and I was like damn I really need a pop of color so I went to Target I bought this shadow for a dollar and it's great look how beautiful the color is I think purple is really pretty with brown eyes so I'm just gonna take that and work it right underneath my crease and my outer V and then my lower lash line and um, it's beautiful the pigmentation's great um, then I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take strange from the naked three palette work it on my brow bone and my tear duct to my inner eye I guess And that'll just give you a really nice eye highlight There I am just working on the other side with that purple again. And again, it's just right under the crease. Because I didn't want like crazy purple eyelids, you know. Or not lids, but, you know, your crease color is what shows when your eyes are open. So, you know, I didn't want it to be too crazy. I am rambling. So I'm going to take that same soft color that I had on my lids and just work that on the center of my my lids after I do the purple just to, you know, amp it up a little bit. I sprayed my brush with a little bit of MAC, MAC Fix Plus just to up the vibrancy a little bit. So there we are finishing up that eye. Back to the lower lash line with that purple. And then just to deepen our lower lash line a little bit, I'm just going to smoke out the outer corners with Black Heart from the Naked 3. It's essentially a black, but it has little specks of, you know, rose gold in it. Because that whole palette is practically rose gold. It's really pretty. So that is the finished eye without any eyeliner. I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera. I'm going to use my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. It's a matte finish. And I used a MAC angled liner brush. I don't know the number. I think it's MAC 280, but I'm not positive. So now we're going to do our under eye concealer. I'm applying it with, I believe, the same concealer brush I used for my um, eyelid primer. And I'm just going to you know, draw out my triangle shape under my eyes. And um, before I would just apply it with whatever and then buff it out with my beauty blender. I'm still gonna use my beauty blender, but I like using the brush because I can really define and carve out my nose. I feel like as I'm getting older, my nose is getting bigger and bigger, which is supposed to happen, but I feel like only my tip is getting bigger and like more bulbous. I don't like it. So yeah, so we're gonna buff it out with our damp beauty blender. 
and then you're going to set your under eyes with whatever kind of powder you like. I used to always use banana powder, but now I just use like a translucent powder because um, the banana was a little too dark for my under eyes. I still like it on the rest of my face, but yeah, so I'm just applying my powder and I'm going to let it sit on my face a little bit while I do my blush. So my blush is by Sigma. It's called Pesh. It's my favorite blush right now. It's so beautiful. It's a part of their Paris palette. So I'm just applying I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And it's so pretty. So after that's done, I'm going to take that same brush that I applied my um, translucent powder with, and I'm just going to brush it away now. I'm not applying any new product, just brushing away what I let sit, sit on my face. So now I'm going to do my highlight. This is MAC Soft and Gentle. It's a mineralized skin finish, and it is so beautiful. It's my favorite highlight right now. And I have like a million highlights, but this is so, so pretty. Then I'm just going to carve out my cheek contour a little bit with, um, you can use any bronzer you like. I'm using Guerlain um, Terracotta, I think, in number eight. Spray a little MAC Fix Plus. Um, in retrospect, I really should have set my under eyes and done my highlight before I sprayed. But here I am just adding a little bit more powder under my eyes. I like a really dewy finish, but I like a matte under eye because otherwise I just look greasy. I like dewiness, but I don't want to look greasy. So here I am lining my lips, and as always, I can never keep myself on camera, but I am using MAC Hover on my um, upper lip and stripped down on my bottom and I went over the hover with the strip down as well. And then I'm using two different lipsticks, my YSL number 13 and then MAC Myth. And in retrospect I think I would have probably gone a little more pinky because my eyes are so pink but um, it was still a really pretty finish, a pretty color. I'm going to take my soft and gentle again and just lightly put on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, touching up my cheeks again because for me, I can never be too shimmery or too dewy. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit to my inner corners of my eyes. I probably am going to do my brow, yep, my brow bones as well. And that is it. That is the finished face without lashes or mascara. So off camera, I'm going to apply my lashes and... Um, put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm wearing Lily Lashes in Tehran. And there is the finished face with the lashes. How beautiful. Uh, these are great lashes. Normally I stack, I always stack two pairs because my eyeballs are so big you can never see them, but these actually worked out really well with just a touch of mascara on top of them to blend my natural lashes with them. And that is it. My shirt is from the Lookbook store and my earrings are from Kiani Collection. Um, I've, I have pictures on my blog along with, um, you know, links to where you can buy my shirt and my earrings. <laughs> and that's it. Subscribe if you're not. Um, I did put up another video earlier today, so check that out. And I will try and bust out some more Valentine's Day looks for you guys. Bye!